doing our initial FET test out at North Satellite right before we opened the new building on 123. We pulled an aircraft up to the building for the very first time and the FET test is going to include the placement of the aircraft at the space and we're testing all of our parameters for what we've got for all of our equipment and we've marked out everything on the ground and we're just making sure that everything in our design matches what we've done out here on site. We are in the new North Satellite Modernization Project and with me is the director of SeaTac Airport, Lance Little. Lance, we're here as part of a simulation here mm -hmm. on this day. We've had about 200 people that have come in and helped us out. Why would we want to do something like this? Well, the reason why we want to do something like this is we want to make sure that on opening day, uh, we have no issues. If we're having any issues, if we have any challenges, any problems, we want to actually identify them now, not on opening day. And that's the primary reason why we're doing the simulation exercise. Okay. And then as we're looking around here, this is the first time, it's been a couple of weeks since we've kind of showed people some different insight here. Mm -hmm. This is pretty impressive. What, can you kind of tell us a little bit about what we've got here? This is the new gates on the west side of the building, right? So this is a new gate. This is actually uh, phase 1A of a kind of a four phase opening, 1A, 1B, then there'll be 2A, uh, 2B opening. We're opening initially with five uh, gates here um, at the airport. Again, uh, multiple phases uh, before we actually get everything completed here at the North Satellite. Now that's an exciting opportunity to have just part of it open. I mean, is there a reason we, we want the access really early with uh, the gates as soon as we can versus waiting until everything's done out here? Yes, one of our biggest problems here at this airport is of course gates. We do not have enough gates uh, to accommodate the, the airlines or our passengers during peak. And so the planners and the designers and the construction folks have actually phased it such that we minimize the number of gates that we have out at any particular time. And that's one of the reasons why we're phasing it in this way. Okay, and that's a good reminder then for folks as well too, once that does open, mm -hmm. everything in this new section for the North Satellite won't be finished. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be opening here over the next several months, so that's part of the plan. Right, right? and even before, we, even before we get to demolishing the existing um, facility, again, we're still gonna be phasing in. Some of the old facility is gonna be open while the new facilities is um is in place and when we even complete the new facility we'll still have some components of the old facility um open to allow people to get in and out um of the building okay so, and we've been talking about some of these new buildings for so long how exciting is it for you to it, see some of this open? It, it is extremely exciting when you see it and if you look at this facility it's an, it's fantastic if you look at the design if you see the the design that simulates the rivers in the northwest and you can just see the the, the look and the experience on the um, or uh, members of the public who participated in the simulation uh, this morning and you see where they gathered in the river area just to take in this really beautiful facility that they have. It, it's really a fantastic um, milestone that we have met here at this airport today. And I think people are really going to start to love it. So we appreciate it. Lance Little, the Managing Director here at SeaTac Airport. Thanks for checking in here at SeaTac Airport.